We've increased our skills. Oh wait, hold on a minute. There is no leadership skill, is there? Huh. I was thinking of Gene Forge. It's weird that there is no leadership skill. Uh, the trap lair. Two Rockridge Keep. Alright, I'm about to end my let's playing for today. But first, let's go talk to Commander Odile and see what he has to say. And then we can end it there. Oh, we're so close. And... Oh, this is Commander Odile. <sighs> I was able to investigate the rebel lair, Commander. You describe your adventure in the caves, your misadventures with Sulla, and the slim evidence you found. Hmm. This Miranda is no concern of mine, though I suspect that Redbeard will appreciate your news. He takes the letters you found and inspects them. Beyond Miranda's name, they don't seem helpful. Still, we will read them carefully. We may learn more. And this... Sulla, was it? What happened to him? I killed Sulla. I'm glad to hear it. My mercy for these rebels is long since exhausted. And what about Silky? The scout taken by the Titans. Did you find any signs of her fate? I found part of her cloak in a cell. Really? Silky lived? He grabs a scroll and makes a series of notes on it. This is good news. Perhaps my favorite scout still lives. Perhaps she can still be rescued. I will do what I can to bring my warrior home. He sets the scroll aside. This concludes everything I needed to ask. Will this help you find the rebels? Alas, no. But our hunt has only begun. They will make a mistake soon. They will have tracks, a sign, or some clue. And then they are ours. That is all? I suppose some reward is expected, Odell says with a sigh. I do not want to unnecessarily aggravate Avedon. I will have some of the storerooms in the tower unlocked. Since you recovered some rebel letters, I will give you some extra coin. Seems deserved. He gives you a pouch. Now, I am sure you will want to report back to Avedon. Don't let me keep you. I will not pretend I enjoy having hands in my fortress. Okay. Where should I go from here? Back to Avedon. Your duty lies there. Very well. Let's see what he unlocked for us. What is our wondrous reward? Was it this room? Was it that room? That that was the the commander's chambers, I think. So hopefully it was this room. Nope, wasn't that room. Okay. Uh, maybe it's this room. Commander's chambers. Nope. Definitely lock. Oh, it would only take one lockpick to open the commander's chambers, hey? Well, might as well. Ooh. Razor flinger, hey? Could we perhaps disarm these razor flingers? Maybe we could. It looks like we certainly could. Alright. Alright. This looks like we can do it. Bam! What did we find? Dice, a roll, some dried meat, a potion of speed, and nine coins. Not all that worth it, is it? Steel broadsword's not too shabby, I guess. Still. Oh, that's what we needed. Mm-hmm. Almost didn't find it, old pal. Oh. Okay. Clearly, we'll be back later to the commander's chambers. Those are way too strong. Alright, oh, no, no, don't go there. Don't go there. What did he open for us? I must know. Hand Esme. Oh, there's a hand here. What did he... He said he'd open things for us in the tower. But he didn't open anything. 
Ooh. Look at this. We have a hand. There is a sorceress sitting in this office. Well, hiding. She sits slumped in a chair in the corner. Her blonde hair unwashed and her long robes unlaundered. Only the symbol on her shoulder marking her as a hand of Avedon is clean and fresh. And considering how often the... N and how often she nervously picks at it with her fingernails, it will not remain thus for long. She looks up at you. Welcome to my office. I am Hand Esme, representative of the August Power of Avedon. What business do you have here? You are a hand? I am. She lifts up the shoulder of her, shoulder of her robe to sh show you the symbol. See? No question now that we have to wear these. You didn't wear it before? Redbeard's orders. After the assault, he made us all announce that we fight for Avedon, showing our presence or something. Only those on covert missions are allowed to not show their presence. You don't want to wear it. Considering the raid hands have been murdered over the last few years, I would prefer to remain incognito. Uh, do you collect information for Avedon? I do, I suppose. We're supposed to watch the staff for signs of dissent, unreliability, anti-packed feelings. None of them talk to me, but if you hear something interesting, you can tell me. <laughs> Commander Odile is openly contemptuous of Avedon. Esme lets out, lets out a thin, bitter laugh. <laughs> you think that is any secret? His opposition to our purpose is even known in the Far Lands. If he was loyal to us, don't you think he'd be sent a more helpful envoy than me? Uh, Yutsua seems to support Avedon. Yutsua supports her own advancement. She sees Avedon as useful. Still, if she rose to power here, it would be good for us, and thus good for the Pact. Alright, nothing to report right now. Uh, you know, Watcher Denise asked me to destroy some undead hanging around in a cave to the south of the fortress. Should I do it? They keep to themselves, mostly. If you're greedy and don't have better things to do, I don't see why not. Uh, any Avedon business? She seems surprised. Wait, you would help me? Give a success I can report back to the Black Fortress? In return for payment, I assume. She thinks it over. All right. Some months ago, a representative of Adon came here. Name was I. Dimas, a Deramite. She was supposed to get a report, look around, and return. She describes Dimas to you. Instead, she left his keep in the middle of the night and did not return. Nothing has been heard from her since. Redbeard does not like losing eyes. He made it clear that he wants to know what happened to her. Please find out. Wait, she just left? In the middle of the night, she didn't seem odd or confused. She did her duty, remote but not unfriendly. And then she went to the gate, gave the guards a nod, and walked out. Not seen since. Any idea where I should look? Odile sent out trackers, and don't think it was easy to convince him to look for a servant of Avedon. Dimas went west. She, sent, she makes a mark on your map, in a region called Blackwood. The trail was lost around here. Where did she go before she came here? From the west, I believe she traveled near Titan Peaks and the Corruption. She says no more than that, even though I asked. She didn't like me. I do recall one thing. She seemed ill when she arrived. It seemed like a minor sickness. Nothing worth concern. However, it never faded during the weeks she was here. So, you're telling me Redbeard values eyes more than hands. That surprises you? The purpose of an eye is to gain and store knowledge. The purpose of a hand is to explore, fight, and die. And which of those do you do? Help me with this, and I will see that you are rewarded, and thus I further the interests of Avedon. Hurrah for me. Alright. Well, that's nice. Hmm. That sounds useful. Um, where is this present that he unlocked for me? You're killing me, buddy, old pal. In the tower. What's the tower? Is this the tower? Apparently can't be. Was it the toilet? Maybe that's it, but that leads outside, doesn't it? Don't these lead outside? Oh, that must be it. Okay. We found our reward. The Deadeye Chainmail. Alright. Actually, that could go to me. Another bronze girdle, and a wand of venom. Okay. Wand of venom sounds pretty nice. Uh, the dead eye chainmail is probably a good idea. Because of that extra plus 8% to missile damage. And considering that most of my damage is missile damage. Okay. I think this is a safe place to uh, end our let's play for now. So next time we come back, we will actually probably talk to Monitor Yutsua, talk to a few more people around here, and see what we can figure out. Maybe talk to uh, uh, Silky's friend, 
over in the in the tower to, on the left side of town and see what we can dig up. So, thank you for watching. This has been Avadon, and I will see you guys next time.